Hello everyone and welcome back to Makeup by Pow Pow Baby. Today I will not be doing an eye makeup tutorial but I will be showing you how I do a red lip. So um, you only need a red lipstick, um, a lip liner, and a lip brush. And I'm using NYX and I don't know what kind it is but it's really really dense and very small so you really need that for precision now there are so many people on here that oh my god they do so much with their red lip they put concealer just to make it so sharp they I don't know they they, they scrub their lips with tooth with the toothbrush so that it takes away all of the dead skin or whatever me I'm a very simple person I really don't want to do too much to what really you don't really need to do too much for this lip um for to achieve a red lip so what I'm gonna do is how I do it you can go about doing it you don't have to but this is personally how I do it so the first thing is is that the whole day um or prior to filming I had chapstick on so the chapstick really moistened and moisturized my lips and then after that, when I removed it, my dead skin went away with it. So my lips are super fresh, and I'm pretty sure that the red lip will really work out. The next thing, when I use a red lipstick, I don't like it to be shiny. That's personally my preference, but if you do, don't have a lipstick that's already shiny and glossy. You really want a matte lipstick. And I'm using MAC, and I only own two lipsticks. I own mattes. It's a matte finish, and it's called Russian Red. It just looks like this. It's a deep red color. And I also have Ruby Woo, which Gwen Stefani uses. And this is also, I believe, a matte finish. This is more red. And the other one's more like a darker red. But these two, Russian Red and Ruby Woo, they're both blue-based red lipsticks. Now that that's what you really need to achieve a really nice red lip because most red lipsticks tend to make your teeth look yellow but if you have a blue based red lipstick it'll make your teeth look white. So make sure when you want to go ahead and um, look for a red lipstick go ahead and ask them if it's blue based. Then that way your teeth won't look yellow and it'll look really white, pearly white. Secondly, when I use my, when I put a red lip, this is the only time, I rarely ever use lip liner or lip pencil, but I most definitely use a lip pencil when I do my red lip. And I know I'm going to go ahead of myself, but I'm not going to do all that dotting. So many people on here, again, do red lip, tuto red lip tutorials, and I'm not, this is how I do it. So, yeah, if you don't like how I do it, Go ahead and find some other makeup guru that you prefer. But um, for Russian Red Lipstick, I like using Brick Lip Pencil. And it's more of a darker red. So it's like a true red. And then for my Ruby Woo Lipstick, I like to use Red Lip Pencil by MAC. And this is more of like a cherry red. So today I'm going to be using Ruby Woo because I super love the vibrancy of the color. It's more red than Russian Red, but Russian Red is my ultimate. That was my first red lipstick, so you can never go wrong with OG lipsticks. So the first thing that I do is make sure that my lips are moistened. Now the second thing that I do is that I make sure my lip pencil that I'm going to be using is not too sharp but not too dull. As you can see, it's not too sharp and it's not too dull. And I'm using red lip pencil. The first thing that I do is I do my cupid's bow and let me move my mirror and then I just line my lips so I start here and I just follow it and then I do the other side going down And I'm just following the shape of my lip. I don't really need to do the donning. All you really have to do is follow the shape of your lip. 
And for the red lip, you want to go down all the way, even right here, in between there, because it'll look funny if it's not all the way down there, especially for such a vibrant colored lip. So I, I pull it all the way down here. Okay, and then I do the same thing on the other side. Start with the Cupid's bow and make sure the height of this one is the same on the other side. And take your time. You don't need to rush. Especially for a, a red lip, it gets everywhere. That's why you need a lip liner. So take your time outlining your lip because this will make your lipstick stay and it won't bleed. Then I'm going to start, for me I always start on the side. Usually people start in the middle, but I start on the side. It's really whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm just going to outline the bottom. Now I look a little weird, just like this. And you want to connect the two. Now that you feel that it's even, fill it in. The reason why you want to fill it in and not go ahead to the next step of filling your lipstick is because it'll make it even. The color will be much even. So I'm just going to fill this in with the red lip pencil. Pucker up just so you can get that much the color at the top too. Then you can go over it. Now that it's filled in, the best bet for me, some people take their time and use a lip brush and do all that and put on, I don't. This is what I do. I take my Ruby Woo lipstick and I apply where I need to, where I know the lipstick can handle without having to go on the outline, so. Fill in the bottom. And then, since most is full of the lipstick, that's when I take my lip brush. And that's when I fix the sides. For more precision. It takes time, but if you really want the nice red lip, it's worth it. The last thing that I do, I don't set it with powder because I feel that it's kind of stupid to do that. I just take a, you can take a paper towel, something to blot your lips. And I don't completely blot. I just blot right where I know it's going to get in my teeth. So just like this. Just like that. I slowly pull out. Then I know it's not going to get in my teeth and it's not going to bleed. And there you have it. If you do mess up, um, try not to touch it with your fingers because the more it's going to turn pink and it, you're not going to have that sharp lip, the line of your lip. So try not to touch your finger. If you want to clean it up, use a Q-tip 
or fix it with your lip brush. So hopefully this has helped you guys and I do hope you like this red lip. I know it's really basic compared to how all these other makeup gurus on here do their red lip but this is how simple as it gets. This is how I do it. So I do hope you guys enjoy this and um, stay tuned for more. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!